Hello, hi, it is me, the internet man. Now, you may be th if you may be thinking, what's what's that super secret or special about this surprise? Well, if you only watch me on YouTube, nothing really, except well, I, you'll you'll see later. But for everyone who watches me on Twitch. They wouldn't have remembered the stream because this isn't a stream. This is a pre-recording Because well a few reasons first off It's a Yakuza and there's gonna be a lot of grinding and I don't want to stream all of that grinding So for both of our sakes we're going to be doing um, what they call jump cuts in the business. Yeah, this is new. New format. Also testing out if how viable this format is in terms of, you know, working hours. I mean, well, in terms of editing and rendering. No, rendering and uploading. Etc. Etc. So that's what we're gonna try here today. Well, this could be bad or good. Who knows? Ooh. So here we are in Yakuza Land with Kiru wearing the totally correct clothing. Um. So. First things first. It's a little weird not having to deal with everything else, but hopefully I'll get used to it. Who the fuck knows? Anyway. Uh, let's collect everything first. Um, I said there'd be nothing uh, Oh, I'm gonna go. Kings are fighting over each other. Now, when I say jump cuts, I don't mean like little bitty cuts like that. That's too much work even for me. So, I can. Okay. Um, I be seeing all the details like this a lot. Uh, but, that's, uh, that's Oh, I don't want to do that yet. But I'll mostly be cutting out stuff um, that you don't really need to care about. Like this stuff, except I'm talking during it, so it won't be cut out this time. But normally. But if anything interesting happens or is noteworthy, I'm just going to record it. And then all the other crap you won't see, unless it's noteworthy. I said that part already. You get the idea. Um, so I'll just I'll just finish going through these, and uh, we'll come back when I'm not here. Okay, maybe we won't be back outside because we have a lady. I don't know if I'll be doing the whole voice act thing, but I'll show for the whole thing anyway, but we'll be trying. You've done it, Mr. President. We've taken over 30% of the Electronic Kings area. <laughs> Let's keep increasing our share. Uh. Yeah, speaking of which, what can you tell me about this Electronics Kings, Electronics King guy? If I remember correctly, he looked like an Otaku. It's fucking weeb. Mm. Electronic King is a member of the five billionaires who control the area around Namishi uh, Street. That one. He apparently has an IQ of 190 and made his fortune by developing and in investing in cutting edge technology. He's in on the gaming market, isn't he? He's got a share at Nintendo. If you could even buy shares at Nintendo at the time. An IQ of 190. That's something. Never would have guessed it from the look of him. Yeah. That's uh, not the only surprised. Surprise. He only so supposed to be quite good at fighting, despite appearances. Mm. Word is that a bunch of young thugs who considered that area to be turf fought the Electronic King by, by, by wound up joining the crew instead. 
despite this being edited, you're still going to be see all those because we're not that edited yet. So he's got brains, brawn, and a gang for when those fail. Mm. Yes, since we'll be making moves on their territory, we'll probably wind up clashing with them often. So Electronics King managed to tame a bunch of young thugs. He's got an IQ of 190. Better watch out. There you go. It's still very awkward without music. I should have put something at least. Um, well, let me real quickly explain how polished we're going to be here. Eh, there's a heavy asterisk on that polish. Um, <clears throat> but mo mostly it'll just be me recording whenever something cool happens. And then, no, yes, actually. Me basically coming in and recording whenever possible. Or whenever I want to. When something cool happens, rather. And then we'll go from there. Um, and mostly we're just cutting out all the middleman part. We're not being polished. No retakes here. Hi. Hi. Actually, wait. Wait. No, 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 no. Not yet. I wanna. I wanna. I wanna. Let's save first. Alrighty. We've saved. Now. Let's take on the money bags, man. Let me try it. Hi. 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 No. I mean, no. I don't know. Not you, fucker. I don't give two shits about you. Oh, hi, security man. I guess I could cut this part. I don't think. No, I don't think I will. Actually, I probably will. Well, I'm too lazy to stop the recording. So I'll probably blab rod enough during said thing. That is a giant cone, actually. What the fuck? Hold up. Why do we have a giant traffic cone? Come on, give me. Give me here. I want to murder someone with a giant traffic cone. Okay. What's the giant traffic code for? That. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna still get a um, um, dual duo uh, heat kills at least. Nice touch. Ah, oh, fuck. Money bags is gone. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? Mm. Oh shit. Uh, I guess we'll be back later then. Alright, we'll pull back here. I decided to, uh, buy this place. Uh, Shokichi camera. Let's buy this place. Um, I looked up, uh, a bunch of places that I could purchase, and I don't remember which places I've purchased already. Pachinko Aloha is across the street. Again, I don't know this is this, uh, going to be completely polished. It's more of very, very large jump cuts. Not um, polished, though. If you're looking for polish... Oh, boy. Anyway. Aloha, I can't afford that. And I probably can't afford anything else. Nice. Tempo Sushi is barely just affordable. Okay, we'll go buy Tempo Sushi. Tenpo, ten, tenpo Sushi is under that place. That's a good... I think it's this place right here. Could be wrong. It's under eatery. Alright, it's Tempo Sushi. And now we're poor. <laughs> We now have half shares, though. I got the C Classic. Hmm. I guess it's one of these. Someone is vacuuming in the other room. Wow, that's loud. Anyway. Oh, I know that someone is, but they're it's very loud. Um, it's okay. It's probably not better than the one I could go buy, but... Improvement, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was gonna do something and I forgot. 
uh-huh I do know we need to go to here and befriend the person in some way <laughs> I was gonna go back to the office whenever stuff is ready and then see if there's any dialogue about that so we'll come back when there's something happening so we're here at the shrine um, this isn't the interesting part. I just wanted to mention. I just wanted to mention it because I'm gonna. We're gonna get that, and we're almost at the bottom. Actually, we're gonna get some, some new clothes. Oh, those things look tacky. And a new office. We'll look at that later. That's what this clip is about. See you soon. <laughs> Here's, uh, it's Piers Mr. Officer, man. We've run into him again. Uh, I guess I'm not out to be cut out to be a police officer. Mm -hmm. That's the cop who's always doing stop and searches. He seems a bit down since our last talk. Let's show him some tissues. That'll, that'll put him in the mood, I think. Hi. Oi. Hey, you holding up okay? Oh, give her some. Actually, I, um... Uh, I'm just. What? You want me to show you what I got on me? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, 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 not right now. I'm thinking about quitting the force. Daddy. Huh? You're quitting? You said the other day got me thinking. I've been thinking about my old partner. He was killed in the line of duty. I wondered what he'd think if he saw me now. He gave his life to save me, and for what? I could stand here all day questioning people. I failed him. So that's my chair. I'm yeah. being silent. Oh, come on. You'll be fine. Maybe. No, it's true. I've done nothing but stop the searches for so long. That's all I know how to do. I'm a disgrace. Uh, made up my mind. After today, I'm joined to turn in my... Uh, no, stop it, please. Hmm? Huh? Uh, is it that lady who's... The fuck are these? Those two... Oh. Are you too good back there? Hmm. Uh, oh, anyway. What's your problem? I told you I'd give 30,000 yen to be a good girl come out with some fun with us at the hotel. No, I'm, I'm not interested. Relax, there'll be other girls there. We'll have a party. It's party time. Party. No, no but I... How about 35,000 yen? Huh? That should do, right? Uh? You don't want to piss us off. We may have to get rough with you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, please. These guys are up to no good. And they're stupid enough to do it right in front of a cop. Granted, a cop is thinking about quitting, but still. Eh? Oh, there he go. He gone now. Uh, hold, hold it, you two. This is no place for kids to be hanging around. Show me what you're carrying. Huh? What the fuck you think you do? This is some sort of domestic. I don't know, not domestic, but something going on over there. This is, this is the time for that. Can't you see that woman over there needs help? Are you a baka? Uh, but I'm, all I'm good for is stop and search. I'm not a tough guy. You're a police officer. It's your job to look out for people. I'm too scared. I'm a pussy. I don't want any more blood on my hands. I couldn't handle it. Not again. So you're just gonna turn your back on her? Run and hide every time something bad happens? Well... If your partner could see you now, I bet he'd be pretty disappointed in you. Mm. What are you gonna do now? Will you seriously turn a blind eye to someone who needs your help? Think about what your partner would do in this situation. Well, he'd... No, I can't. I don't have it in me. Fine, if you won't help her, I will. Alright, time to go commit assault real quick. Oh.
Hey, let the girl go. Huh? Oh, fuck you. Mind your own business. You having a nice little chat over here. I forgot how I sound. Stay out of this. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta admit, I've never been able to walk past trash without tossing in the garbage. Fuck! Fuck, got him. Uh? Say, why? You just call us trash? That's the wrong guy. You better watch your mouth, tough guy. Sticky nose where you don't belong? Maybe you don't get snipped off. I don't know why I went to Australian, but sure. What? Well, wait, that looks like a knife. I don't do something pure, Sam could get stabbed just like my partner. I can't. I can't let that happen again. Eat this! I'm fucking. Eh. Oh. Clink. Ugh. He's dead now. You somehow you somehow injured your arm in the process. Kirisen. Good. You're safe. Are you okay? It's frantic. Just had to do something. Uh? Uh, how how old pigs come to squeal on us? Ruined the little, little supplies I had pan, pan, planned and planned. Hey, do you even understand how dangerous it is to use knives like that? I think they got that one across already. Someone could get killed, I think. That's the point. <laughs> that's the point, you fucking idiot. Hey, yeah, Bones, if you don't want to get carved up, best to tail and march back to your bidding band. My partner, he never backed down. Huh? Hey, what's this guy rambling about? How's your chance, miss? Get out of here. Hi. Oh, okay. Ah. Damn it, don't let her get away. Not so fast. You're coming back to the station with me. Uh? You dead meat, asshole. <laughs> nah, that's more like it. You were said. It's my duty as a citizen to assist the police when needed. Don't sweat too much over the details, okay? I should appreciate it. Now, why I both have you? Oh, that's not the. That's not what we had. I just had. I just wanted to say it like that. I don't know why, but uh, I got, got that guy got a pipe. I'll probably show this site because it's quote unquote. Oh god, that guy's got a knife. Do the thing. Do the thing. I wanna. Oh, wait, I don't have enough heat for that. <laughs> I was gonna do the thing where I fucking break his arm. Oh god. Fuck do it. Fuck do you little shit. Oh, he's got it. That one's a bat. Shit. Oh, that's not the thing I wanted, but sure. No. Oh. There we go. Fuck your own buddy. And now he died. That guy got a fucking sword? I think. Wait, no, that's just a, that's just a pipe. Quite what I wanted, but sure. Fuck. And then he died. The pond ginkgo. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, I see too too tough. Fuck this shit him out. God damn it! I wanted to take them back to the station, but they got away. Thanks the help. Thanks for the help back there. I was done for and they came at me from behind. That's why you gotta protect your ear, man. Winky face. It It was just like the time my old partner got stabbed. I saw your life in danger. It was in danger, you can dreadlin kicked it. I'm so glad you're alright, you were said. <laughs> hey, it's not that big of a deal, except it was. Cause, you know, the fucking Baku said don't get shanked. And then if I did then you would be very disappointed in me. Something I need to thank you for, too. If it wasn't for you, I would have ran from the situation like I always do. This time I stood my ground. But it was only because you gave me the push I needed. Oh, yeah? It feels good to conquer your field, doesn't it? It doesn't. It never does. It just feels scary, and then it's just scary. And then it's not scary. 
and then doesn't feel anything. Anyway, my partner would have never run if he saw someone in trouble and be the first to lend a hand. Still a nervous wreck inside, though. Same man. Can't, I can relate to that one. I was so terrified, my whole body was shaking. But my partner was looking down at me, laughing at how goofy I looked. <laughs> eh, I don't know about that. I think he'd be really proud of you. I don't know if he'd be proud of me chipping a nail somehow, but, you know. If I can have a chipped nail, I don't know how. Hmm? Um, excuse me. What's wrong? Are you those guys still chasing you? Um, it's just... Hmm? hmm? Thank you for helping me. You were so dashing. Heart. Well, I was. I just wanted to tell you how grateful I am. Oh, and I want you to have this. Why me specifically? Thanks. I already have... No, I don't. I have one of those. Well, I guess I got another one. I... I have to get going. Alright, bye lady. Thanks for the... Stone man thing. I guess. A nice. A nice. She called you dashing. Me? Dashing? Uh. Well, when she was scared out of her wits, it was you who came to her aid. Pretty much makes you a knight in shining armor in her book. He's a fucking simp! You, son. Made up my mind. I've decided not to quit the force. I'm going to stick with police work, and I'll give it all I got. Oh, yeah? Right now, stopping search is about all I'm good for. I'm not a much of a cop, but I'm ready to step up and face everything I've been running for. Then, one day, I'll be a first-rate officer like my partner was. <laughs> and then you'll get shanked, and then that partner will have guilt forever. That's great, good luck. Thanks. Oh, and Kira-san, mind if I do a quick stop and search? Eh, right now? Yes, it will be quick. Oh, come on. Oh, here's this katana I have. I knew you had something special, Kiwi san Special? That's not the knife, is it? Or the gun? Oh, look at the gun. Yes, that's right. A kind heart. Oh, that one. Yeah, I have one of those too, I think. Huh? Eh. I was a cop who couldn't face his job, and you snapped me out of it. But your plan was to boost my confidence all along, wasn't it? Yep, yep, definitely. Got, yep. Eh, maybe. Maybe. But I could see you had something special, too. Eh. Something that made you dig deep when it counted. Courage. That's also an important factor. <laughs> yeah, okay, now you're overdoing it. Well, that makes two of us. I guess that's something else you need to work on. Hi. Yes, I will. Thanks for all of your help. There we go, we're friends with the guy now. Yay! He became friends with Officer Stop and Search. Kuchi? Not Kuchi. Not to be confused with that one. Oh, video clip. Oh, video clip. <laughs> I'll have a. I'll have a. St uh, we'll be. I'll be having a quick stop there. We'll come back after that one's over. I guess we will be, um, here. Cause you, you again. I can't help it. I love. Let me watch it again, please. Please calm down. I just work here at minimum wage. I don't want to be here anymore. I just want to go home and make sure that I'm recording. Yeah, what's the problem? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Welcome, sir. So, what's going on here? Well, this gentleman keeps asking to watch a video. I want to watch... I really do. What's wrong with that? Isn't that what the shop is for? Just let him watch it. It's not that simple. He's always watching just this one video. The same video every time? That's dedication. I think. <laughs> well, the girl in that video is the sweetest creature on the face of the earth. I have different voices every time I speak. I don't know why. She must be really cute to have you hooked on her video like that. You got me interested. 
working. This is why this is such a problem. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate customers who come here every day. Every day, huh? Man, that guy's got stamina. If someone's watching the same video after day all the time, then other customers don't get to see it after all. Or at all. But I like that video. It's really good. It's got some weird tentacle <laughs> shit, man. The guy turns himself into... No. I'm not doing that. Can't you just watch something else for a change? There are plenty of other cute girls. Well, I'd be cheating, and I'm not a cheat. There's only room for one girl in my heart, and that spot's already taken. And my voice changed again, I don't know why. <sighs> See what I have to deal with? What am I supposed to do with them? That girl in the video must be something special. I'd like to see her clip. But I can't if he's going to watch it again. See, will you please tell him something to make him come to his senses? We could watch it together if you want. Oh no, no, no. No circle check for me. Daddy. I wanna watch a sexy video together? Get to watch the video again? Show off the queen of my heart to another guy. Two birds with one stone? Mm. Not sure how I feel about this. <sighs> Please just sort it out between yourselves. Let's watch that video together. Come on, I'll pay. Come on, let's do it. It's not gay. Five feet apart in a hot tub. Oh, I guess we'll watch the, the ones together. Uh. Alright, I don't mind. Hey, yeah, you'll fall in love with that girl from the video just like I did. I'll get the tape. You go wait in the booth. Hey. Oh, we don't get to see it. That's good and bad. Oh. Mm. Feels a little crowded, doesn't it? Unless that was just the transition between the two. Oh, come on, it's cozy. Watching this video next to another warm body feel, feeling another breath on your skin, it adds realism to it, if anything. So, no, it's Mr. Libido with hair, but okay. Your warm body does nothing for me. She's just starting. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, 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 no, no, no. No, no, you don't get to look at that. You don't get to look at that. That's uh, that's a lot of balloons, though. Oh, that thing made. Oh, I forgot to. Oh. Well. Uh, it's a video. She's just waving around balloons. Um. Yeah. The camera's just looking at my shoulder now. I don't know why. Camera is terrible. Oh, that's more balloons. That is a lot of balloon dogs, though. Don't, don't look at me like that. Oh, okay. I just got. I don't know how I feel about this scenario, but. <clears throat> Uh, the man, she. Oh, I just realized I could have just edited it out and I'll switch scenes. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah, it's fun. She may. She's, she's cute. Yeah, she is. Can I. Okay. Right? Right? That's why I watched this clip like a thousand times already. Daddy. That's a lot. Why'd you get so obsessed with this video? <laughs> yeah, it's a silly question. It should be obvious. It's because I fell in love. Fell in love with a girl from a video. She's an idol or an actress or something, right? Better than falling in love with an anime. Well, who would, who would do that? Ah, stupid. No one would do that. Anime didn't. I don't know if it... Eh, I guess anime kind of exists. Eh, no, it didn't. Did it? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I love her. A girl I can watch but never touch. Story of every 2D wife who ever. I know it's hopeless, but I can't help it. Mm. And I guess you can't. You'd understand how I feel if you fell in love with a girl. 
Love, love makes reason, reason, it makes reason and logic and speech go out the window. Hmm. Huh. Well, there you go. Uh, oh, we're outside now. <laughs> Man, she was just as gorgeous as ever today. <laughs> Yeah, I can sort of see why you would be so under him. Think about her every day. She's all I can think about. I love her so much I could barely eat. It's crushing me. You're you're pinning over a woman you never and may never meet. When I go meet a girl you can actually speak to, uh, so that's a big problem, Kira. No one can do that yet. Or they won't be able to, rather. That's not making things worse for me. According to her official profile, she lives in Camarocho. That means there's a chance, right? Huh, you think so? I want to see her, even if it's just once. I think it will free me from this torment that I call... Being single. I know. Can you please help me? If you see a girl in the video, can you tell me? Please? Well, why me? Why can't you go look for her yourself? I have been looking for her my whole life, man. With the two pairs of with two pairs of eyes out there, I'll double my chances. Mm. Uh, that's true, but oh, please, we're like soul brothers. We both turned, <laughs> we both got turned on by your video. We both panted and gasped together. Mm. I don't know about those last two. I don't know if any of that was panting nor gasping. I think it was more just looking and being silent. Anyway, I don't make this creepy. I think it's already too late for that, Kira. Please, you know what she looks like, and you seem to know your way around Camarocho. If you were to turn me down, I, I, I wouldn't know who to turn to. <laughs> Tormented by his love for an unattainable girl. Well, I suppose I can at least tell him if I ever see her. Okay, alright, I'll help you. Really? You will? Oh, thank you so much. Just in case it helps, her profile said that she loves Korean barbecue, and she loves to go bowling into the batting center, too. <laughs> Alright, got it. Uh, yes, I'll watch for her video again and look for cute clues. Thank you for helping. I don't know if you're going to get any clues from that. That's probably in a studio. Something like that. Unless there's already cam girls in 88, but I highly doubt that one, given how shite cameras were at the time. Oh. So, oh, there's more videos to look at. Hopefully, without a cutscene this time, so. This time, we will be back after the thing. Mm hmm. Um, we're here at Barbecue, I believe, which uh, the lady apparently frequents a lot. Phew, what a feast. I am so full. That woman. I know her from somewhere. I wonder where. That's it. She looks like the girl in that Gandhara video. I eat so much, I feel a little sleepy. Maybe I should... I'll just rest here for a bit. Facing a wall for some reason. Girl, the video question mark. First off, guys, who's in love with her is hanging out in front of Gandhara. I promised I'd tell him if I saw the girl somewhere. Guess I'll have to follow through. Uh, go down there real quick. Very quick because I don't want to edit this part. <laughs> like very, very quick. Maybe hi. Oh, hello. Did you have any luck finding my video dream girl? Uh. Yeah, saw her. Okay. Well, what you did? Really? Where on earth did you find her? In front of the Korean barbecue place, Can Rai. Get going, she may still be there. Oh, so it was true. She really does like Korean barbecue. That's so adorable. Oops, what am I doing? I have to go. Even if it's just for a moment, I want to see her. I need to meet her. Thank you for telling me about her. <laughs> right off towards Can Ryan. Maybe I'll swing by later to see how things turn out. Not later, right now, because I don't want to edit this part because that's too much work. Oh, uh, 
<laughs> Hi, we're here now. Right, they're having a talk. How's it going over here, guys? Um, excuse me, you're, uh, you're wearing a, a video, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Eh? <laughs> Looks like he finally got to meet the girl from the video, question mark, rather. I, I've been watching you over and over. I only have eyes for you. I, I love you. Daddy. Whoa, whoa, we just dialed it up way too fast. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. Huh? Your answer's no. Mm. Oh, well, of course it is. Why did you reject me? Is my love for you not enough? No, no, it's not that. I don't think I'm that video girl you'll talk, your girl you're talking about. So what? Oh, no, no, that can't be right. I know I, what I saw. Are you pulling my leg? Are you? You fuck my wife? No, no, yeah. don't do him. no, I've never been in any video I can think of. You must be thinking of someone else. Yeah. No, but you look just like her. You've gotta be kidding. Mm. I get that sometimes. People tell me I look like this idol in that girl. Maybe I look like her a lot. <sighs> Oh, I can't believe you're not her. Now the face of a rejected man is a sight for sore eyes. But no small wonder. The guy declares his love in two sentences and goes down in flames and it's not even her. It's partly my fault for pointing him to the wrong girl. I should apologize later. Hey, look at that babe. Hot damn. Whoa, no shit, those like go on forever. I don't know what these voices are. <laughs> Say, sweetie, you even know how cute you are? Why don't you come party with us? Ah, uh, no, I'm not that kind of... Aw, oh, come on, sweetheart, don't be that way. Be fun. You'll love how we treat you. <laughs> but please, let me go. I, uh... Tell you what, we'll just drop by a hotel for a quickie. It won't take long. You could be on your way. Do you? N no. Uh, excuse me. I think you're scaring her. Huh? Saying an AB. This is AB conversation, pal. So see your way out. Oh boy, it never gets old. Now that one's a good one. That line's a good one. Every I hear it very rarely, but it's a good. One. It won't be a good un at some point, but I'm saying it's a good one anyway. That's terrible, but... Well, you got some beef with us? You really gonna get up on our business? To me? Well, duh. I'm a big fan of that idol that she looks like. Who? Wait, you're a fan of an idol? Who looks like her? So you got nothing to do with this chick at all? Uh, yeah, that's right. And and uh, just now I mixed her up with the idol I like. Declared my love and got shot down. What the hell? So you got nothing to do with the girl and she just rejected you, right? And you're still here. Why? Uh, it's because I love that the girl in the video. Yeah, but you just said the same her, so this really don't have anything to do with you. Shut up. It has everything to do with me. I don't care about your dumb logic. Oh, screw this. Goof's giving me a headache. Shut the jaw. Shut your yap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he dead now. He's fucking dead. Oh, hold, hold it. We're not a lawyer, but we're saying hold it. Well, who's this gorilla? It's you. <clears throat> I'm responsible for getting you into this mess. If you don't mind, I'll clean it up. Uh, yes, please. If I can hit the A button, that is. This could get rough. I'd keep your distance. Mm -hmm. hey, you sure? Okay. Uh. Oh, fuck this. You both gonna take the beating if you, uh, of your damn lives. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay, fucking. Let's go, mate, huh? Oh, okay. I don't know what I did there either. Oh, he's dead now. Do one of those. That man's dead now. Where's the other guy at? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, get up. 
Get up, I'm gonna grab you again. Do something cool. That's not cool. Okay, you're dead now. I thought I could do something cool with the kid, but no. Sorry, bye, you fuck this shit. <laughs> you really held up your own. I was just desperate. I don't know what I was doing. Thanks for stepping in. But why are you even here? I'm putting aside the creepy factor. You're just a dude in love with a girl. I felt compelled to see it through. Oh, I, I see. Well, I'm so glad you came. Wow. Are you all right? Hi. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, I am. Um, thank you for saving me. You're not hurt, are you? Oh, what a relief. Well, why did you do this? I just turned you down. Why would you come to my rescue? Mm. I'm not even the girl from your video. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really sure. All I know that was protecting you was the right thing to do. You weren't the idol of my dreams, but that's besides the point. I couldn't just turn a blind eye just because you weren't who I thought you were. Mistaken identity or not, I'm still a man of principle. Being rejected and you needing help are our different scales, so I jumped in. Oh. And now you came back, concerned for my safety. You did that for a guy like me. I can't tell you how happy I am. She's gonna dump you immediately afterward. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm drawn to you as a real person. I may have met under strange circumstances, but may I ask if you go out with me? It's still a little hot and heavy there, man. Um, this is the first time in my life anyone has approached me with so much passion. Ugh. Don't, don't, don't get that passion on scream. Scream? Stream. This isn't a stream. This is still a video. But, I'm sorry. Well, shit. Eh? No, after all you said. Why? Why are you turning me down again? Mm. Because I just fell in love. No. Was it with me? Because you can, you can have them. If it's with someone else, we were a little late, huh? Mm -hmm. Fell in love? Just now? Yes. Mm. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, t I'm not taken, but I ain't available. Mm-hmm. What? Uh oh. Don't look at me like that. You look at me like you looked at me in the video. I don't like that. What? Wait, what's going on? Calm down, man. Oh, what the f- Oh, that's not how you do that. Sorry about that one. It just happens, you know? Oh, this can't be happening. Really sorry. Look, you can have them, okay? I, I I pass. I ain't I ain't available. Oh, oh, just like that. There's also something happening up here. So we'll go look up here. I well, I know it's up here. I believe. It's no. It's uh money bags. I gotta talk like this again. Right now. It's try like this. I gotta get lack not activating, but. Let's play this shit. Yeah. Awesome. Hi. Uh, you got money for me? From Ojima? Mm. Let's see if I dumped myself some money because I'm pretty sure I did. I have to get some financing. Okay, let me see how much I can make available to you. After I deduct our commission, the total comes to 140 million yen. That's a lot. <laughs> we think your business has a lot of potential. Use the money wisely and build up your assets. Oh, and if you make a profit, don't forget to give back to him, son, and sort of you, okay? I don't remember how much I have to give him. <laughs> it's a lot. I know that. That's what... Ready of a billion, no. It's a... it's a lot. I don't have the money. I don't have money for that. Oh. We'll, we'll, we'll do that later. A little later. 
It still says there's a marker there. I think that's just for money bags, though. What's the one in the park, then? Um... This is probably a place where I put a cut. Will there be a cut? Oh, fuck, final. We'll see. If there's a cut, then there's a cut, otherwise, fuck you. I don't like this one. I don't know. Is it... Wait, that's the... Wait, what's this, then? What's Ochio Kabu? We play Ochio Kabu here. Wanna join us? Sure. Sounds like fun. Uh, that way. Oh, excuse me. Let's get started. Then. Let's get this. I don't know what the fuck this is. Rules. Okay, good start. This game is played with a Kabufuda or Hanafuba deck, but only the cards from January to October are used. Each month has a numeric value equal to the month number. Layers are only each are each dealt to three cards. I say talk. Okay. Totals over ten only last digits. Last digit ones place is used. The player closest to nine wins. There are four players, including a banker. The banker plays against the other players, which plays the butts. The banker changes when a round ends. Four cards are dealt face up onto the table. Each player selects one card from the four on the table and one down. Next, each player receives an additional card from the deck. The non banker players may stand with two cards or third card to go into the showdown with a total of three cards. Players should choose a third card draw from the deck. The banker draws once for three players are standing. After drawing two cards, the banker may choose to draw a third. The banker may choose which players to challenge with two cards and which to challenge with three. Once the winners are decided, the next point is captured, the banker changes, and the game proceeds in the next round. And that's that. Change settings. Don't. I don't know what fuck kind of. Let's let's just keep all the normal. <laughs> let's just start the game. Oh god, I don't know what any of these do. I disconnected this controller by holding <laughs> it with my foot. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I don't know what any of the numbers. Um, let's get greedy. Uh, all no, all of it. Oh, uh, five. Uh, thirteen draw. That's abysmal. I think. No, it's one. Oh, that's terrible. Who won? No one won. <laughs> Fucking terrible game. Get me out of here. Oh, that was abysmal. <laughs> no. Oh, boy. I never even found out what that quest marker here was. No, it's not you two. Well, we'll come back then. Alright, so I looked up, and apparently we just leave, and then something happens. Oh, hey, hey, look, something's happening. Oi. Hey, you! You talking to me? You see anybody else? Come with us. We need to have a little chat. Who are you guys? Doesn't matter who we are. But you, on the other hand, no kid named Shinji Takana. Good question. Oh, it's that one kid that I think uh, jumped us in the alley or something. If I remember correctly. Mm hmm? He told us all about you. Don't need me to spell the rest, do you? Yeah. No idea who you're talking about. Uh -huh. Go play with Dome with me. Use that kid to go after our boys. Oh. Daddy. Huh? Kid ratted you out. So quit playing dumb and come along. This is what happens when you screw with the Jinsi family. 
You guys cast Senji. What do you? What do you? What did you do with them? So you can see if that little shit is real touching. It's as good as a signed confession. You the guy he's working for. Don't worry about a thing. You'll see him real soon. So took quick dragging your ass and come with us. <laughs> no wonder the Gen C family is a shit stain of a third string family. You guys don't know anything about etiquette. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm the GM family. Fuck you. you wanna take me somewhere? You better bow foul at first. Can't do that and piss off. Fucking got him. Why you fucking punk? Oh, forget it. We'll beat the shit out of you here and now. Alright, let's go. Generic Yakuza. Hi, everyone behind me that just walked up at the same time. Started spamming me at the all kid. That was a pathetic finishing punch there. Again, I don't know if you really use the. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Bro, who the hell is this guy? This is crazy. Where's Senji? That punk better still be alive. I. Uh, Show me where he is. You gotta know, I'm not the guy pulling the strings. He lied to you. She what? I'm just the fallback for when he does get screwed over. Joke's on you. Dragged me into this and he's going to pay for it. Oh, I see. So that's how this went down. We're on the same page though, man. Take me to him now. Quit stalling. Yes, sir. <laughs> ah. Uh, ah. Don't expect to find a kill like this, mauling our boys. So where's the guy feeling the punk's heads? Who's the guy? Where's the guy feeling the punk's heads with the ideas? Still can't find him. Oh yeah, that's sure what the holdup is. Hi. It's me. The guy you've been talking about. You, you did come for me. Hi. How you doing? Well, well, so this was our mastermind, eh? Wait, where's the boys who brought you? They're talking to a, They're taking a nap outside. Sure pulled out all the stops to deal with one stupid kid. A circus. Well, wait a minute. I, I recognize this bastard. Eh. It's Kiru. The Dojima family put a bounty on him. Not anymore. <laughs> it's the guy our Dojima family's after. Kazuma Kiru. Not anymore. <laughs> uh, you shitting me. Kazuma Kiru. Or Kazuma Kiru. Why, why would a walking dead man investigate invite this kind of shit? I could bother hunting down weaklings like you. Shinji here shoved a load of BS down your throats. <laughs> That's, that's the story. Well, screw it. I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> it's our lucky day. All we gotta do is take this clan out of the Dojima family, and we in the good graces of the most powerful cam family in Game Orocho. No, that's not how this works. Those are also very boring looking umbrellas in the background there. Alright. Let's fucking go. He looks very happy to do this. Cave is facing. This is our ticket to the big leagues. I think you kind of need the face for, you know, recognition. You say, hey, this is actually Kiru and not some random guy we beat up. Give me a sec. You know, give me a sec. Fuck you. <laughs> Whack you with a plant. Somehow. Oh. No, well, give me this. Give me the coffee table. Thank you. I'll throw a coffee table at you. Fuck you. Get out of here. Fuck it. 
serious, so let's... Get out of here. Ugh. Give me this. Give me this. Oh, okay, chair. Eat chair, except you're not eating the chair at all. The chair is not relevant to the conversation. I want this thing. I want horse figuring. Oh, no, same thing. Okay. Again. I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's... I want this thing. Fuck is this thing? The room, Adele. Okay, asshole. No, 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 no. Give me the thing. No, not bottle. Just throw the bottle through you. Okay, okay. Fucking asshole. Okay, we don't get to murder him with the Darumadel thing, whatever it was. And everyone died. But damn, you were freakishly tough. Say so you Kazumagiru. I heard about you. Whole Dojima family's out hunting for you. Not anymore. That's brutal, man. You taking on the whole Dojima family by yourself. Wish I had half that kind of strength. It worked over pretty good. That pound some sons in that thick skull of yours. Alright, Kiru. Maybe a, little, maybe a little more gentler next time. As if. I'm just a punk teenager. Because I just... Uh, how do they find out you're the one going after them? Someone in the gang ratted me out. I got scared the Yakuza would come after them if the cover got blown. So they turned me over in exchange for their safety. Hmm. Heh. <laughs> Think about it. I can see why they did it. I was an idiot for trusting them. Yeah. That's one way of looking at it. One more question. Why did you tell these goons I was the one ordering you to go on this Yakuza beating spree? Yeah. Because if I didn't give them something, these guys were going to take me out and bury me off in the mountains. I figured there was no way they could take you on. Huh. So I gave them a description. Told, told them you were my boss. I had to. I thought... Maybe you'd come save me. You just seem like that kind of guy. Of course I do. Oh, what the hell? What do you think you're doing? And what have you been doing with your whole life? Thank you. A little more gentler next time. <laughs> eh? Guns to your head. And the first guy who comes to mind is a complete stranger you've only met once? No family, friends, or relatives you could trust to throw out there? <laughs> Instead, you've been acting like some vigilante jackass trying to take out the Yakuza until they finally won. The hell is this kind of life? Fair. Nobody ever taught me to trust. I never had anyone around to show me what to do, so I figured it out as I went. No one taught me anything about how to live. Fair. <laughs> I don't know if I... Grow up! Grow up! You can't blame this on your father or the people who failed you. You have to fight your own damn battles. I'm no exception. Trying my damned hardest to live. You know, fair. Same, though. But you're so damn strong. It's just lucky you had a mentor. Did have someone who gave me something I could aspire to be. He's a Yakuza, though, so I guess that means you automatically hate them. He's your role model? He's Shintaro Kazam Kazama. Kazama. Some of the sorts. The captain of the Dojima family. If I could be half the man he is, I'd be alright. I ain't even close to that. Uh, that might be debatable, actually, Kiryu. At least at, at, least at this point. Uh, definitely what at the end point. Shinji, the Yakuza have their eyes on you now. You can't stick around. Get out of Kamurocho. Find yourself someone you can trust. Someone to show you the ropes. Get out of Kamurocho? I can't do that, Kiryu-san. I'm not running away. Nani. It's probably a bad idea. Just saying. Besides, you got way more Yakuza on you tail than I do, don't you? I'm staying put. <laughs> if you're away, that's how you choose to live. Like I said before, I won't argue with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my decision. I promise me this, though. Cut ties with your sorry little gang. And... If you're going to live in this town, I want you to figure out how to outlive me, Shinji. 
Mm, I don't know if I like the sound of that one. Hey, Kyrie-san, one last thing. What made you come save me? You're already at the top of the Jean family's hit list. Why take that risk? Eh, who knows? I don't know why I do half the things I do. Maybe a, maybe a, a third, third party is controlling all this. Whoa. When I was a kid, I was alone too. If I hadn't met Kazama-san, I'd probably be a, a lot like you are now. Oh. See you around, Sinji. Maybe, maybe, maybe he'll join up with the Yakuza. Kira-san, I think I found someone I could aspire to be. In fact, I hope someday I can even be even better than you. No matter where you go, I'm going to be just a step behind. You just watch. Oh, I don't know if I like the sound of that. Kira-san, sir. Ah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> is it going to show up in your game? I don't know. Oh, that's a good question. Oh, we're over here now. What the fuck is over here? Oh, it's over here. Uh, I can't zoom out. Uh, a little in. Um, there's still something over there, so we'll, we'll cut to when we're back over there. And now we're here. I don't know what we're doing here, but we're doing... Getting stuck on things, apparently. Hmm? Oh, fuck, that's a lot of those guys. What's going on? This is a rough looking crowd. <laughs> Oi, I'm so freaking stoked, man! Oh shit. A rastry show by the Yokomoji Silvers. Ah. Too right, those guys are rock and roll gods. Look at this bitch and crowd. They drew all the punks without any ads, none. Crazy Joe with the and the Yo, Kamichi Silver's fucking rule. Keep your pants on, but I heard the Yomochi Silver's are gonna have a Q&A pallet too. Really? No effing way. The famous for never saying a word, letting the music do the talking. Wonder what the hell they talk about. Sounds like some bands doing an event here. Must be popular with the local punks. Didn't know all the local punks were vaguely British or American, but there you go. Oh, hi. Hi, guy creeping. He creeping. Is that... Is that one guy? Oh, f I don't remember who the fuck it was, but it's a wild guy. Oh. My gosh, oh my gosh, look at those people. Holy cow, what are we gonna do? Boy. Hey, you. Yikes. Yeah. Gee whiz, pal, I need the peed man. Uh, what, what you doing? Chop around behind me, ugly knob. I'm leaning more towards British now. Only the British would say knob and not refer to any sort of door. Uh, yeah, sorry. I thought I should apologize for bumping into you earlier. Like, I don't know, a couple days ago or whatever. Oi! Oh, you? Oh, you're that man. No, I should be apologizing for my. I mean, oh, whatever. Piss off. Uh, sure. Mm hmm. Good, good talk. We got here, guys. Oh? Uh, wait, wait a second. Could you possibly un be unaware of who I am? Yeah. Eh? You asking if we met before we bumped into each other? If we did, I don't recognize you. Yeah. Well, wait a second then. So you really don't know who I am? Whittlek is what a relief. Hmm? Sorry, I was rude not to introduce myself. Name is Kyo, but my stage name is Crazy Kyo. I'm a vocalist in a band. I guess. The Yokomichi Silvers. Same band those young punks there are excited to see. Aren't you guys this is kind of legendary Yankee band? I don't know if that, that kind of Yankee we're thinking of. I don't know what the fuck that means then. Oh, yes, that's us. We do a street show here later. Oh, sorry to bug you before you show. Okay, bye. <laughs> Let's just walk off shot then. Yeah, whoa, where the hell you think you're going, old man? You gotta be in the fucking in the bath and shot. Bloody hell. Uh, wait, please, sir. Don't don't go. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe you could save me. Come on. Save you. 
Uh, and everyone cleared up. What? Are you even hardcore in the slightest? Doesn't look like. Hi, lady. Okay. B bye, lady. Well, as a joke, we tried dressing all punk at a show. To a shock, we got pretty popular with the Yankee crowd. But now we have to keep up the charade full time. Over time, we got gained a fan base of wannabe punks. And Yokomichi Silva has become heroes to the rebellious youth of Japan. All style is called Yankee now. Ah. Mm. Uh huh. Got it? Cause Yankees, anyway. <laughs> that's, that's more of a running band than I thought. So, what do you mean by me saving you? I, uh, actually. I want you to teach me how to be a hardcore hooligan. Nani. Teach you to be a Yankee. Well, first you gotta declare a revolution against your, your, um, your, whatever, the, I, I guess not your country, because that would be civil war. Uh, we had one of those too, but that's besides the point. Like, what would be colonies, colonies country could be called, I don't know, one of those, it has a fancy name, that's what you gotta do, and then have a civil war. <laughs> Yeah, you say for today's event, we also have to do a live panel, a meet and greet for the fans. But if you remember the Yokomochi servers, myself included, a lot of button choir boys, we never even shoplifted. We were talking for a real Yankee, we realized we were phonies. Hey, punks, eh? I know you mention it. Well, you talk doesn't match how you dress at all. Right, so if we spoke to our fans, we lose all credibility and popularity in an instant. Worse, what if they want revenge on us for fooling them? Okay, but do you have do you have to do this panel thing? Why don't you just skip it? Oh, that'll make everyone upset, Kiru. I don't want to do it either. But agency says we need to hone our speaking skills if we want to stay popular. They're making us do this. We've been avoiding every situation we might have, we might have to talk to just instead of just performing. But now. Oh, got it. So, you want me to teach you how to behave like a Yankee so you can talk like one? But why me? I'm not even American. I'm American. Not curious, though. I guess, well, again, revolution and civil war. Maybe a couple world wars sprinkled afterwards. A little we'll cherry on top of a housing crisis that we don't talk about. Because, well, I mean, one that doesn't happen all. Why? Why? Well, that would be because you're my ideal of what a hooligan should be. My accent changes very frequently, too, so, you know. That confident demeanor. Your razor-sharp glare. The pod water attitude that says, touch me and get cut. And yet, you also ex excuse a sense of kindness. A guy who extends help and hand to the weak. The hooligan with a heart of gold. That's my ideal Yankee. Yeah, I am Yakuza. And if now you know well, you're back in it, so yeah, you are Yakuza. It's not Yankee. That's close, I guess. There is the kind heart part. You could teach us so we won't blow a cover. More than that, I think you could give us Yankee wisdom that will propel the Yokomichi Slivers to new heights of hooliganism. Please, if we lose the chance, the Yokomochi Silvers may have to break up. Please teach me how to carry myself like a true Yankee. Oh, yeah, why not? Okay, then. I'm not sure how useful I can be, but I'll try. Really? Thank you so much. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't catch your name. That's Kiru. Okie dokie, Kiru-san. Give me just a second, please. I'll go get the others. Oh, boy. We gotta be all rough and tough and punk. Decided to keep you writing, Kiru-san. There they are, guy with a hat and other. This is our drum, dr this is a drum, a sleazy tar. Hey, hey there, I'm Tom Rush. My stage name is Sleazy. But I don't have no experience with the ladies. Never even seen a boob. And this is a bassist bad boy, Aku. I'm Aku. Bobby's caring for elders. I don't know if that even picked up on the mic, but I talked like this. And that's a cute saying, who's gonna impart the ways of true Yankee style hooliganism into us? I believe they took your 
That's what they are. That's how he talks. Mm, you guys are so polite and proper. I'm starting to wonder if there's anything I can do for you. Oh, no, please don't say that. We are pretty good guys at heart, so please help us. In any case, being pretty good guys is the problem. Well, I mean, not for you, apparently, cute Sam, but for these fellows, yeah. Well, they did agree to this, so somehow we have to turn you guys into hard edge punks. <laughs> oh, yes, please. I said that. Weird. I made it sound sexual. Uh, how could I show you guys to be tougher, though? Mm. Oh, well, maybe you could come up with an opening remark for little old me. Your opening remark? Yes, I want to kick off a panel with authority. Being hooligans, we shouldn't come across as weak or hesitant. Please keep us in. I need a singer of an opening line to set the tone. Do you leave the love that we're gathered here? Okay, now the band's not breaking up. Sorry, your engines. Hello, but in English. I mean, to be fair, English is pretty scary. Start your engines. I don't know if that's appropriate. For... This isn't like... We're not... Well, this isn't like a NASCAR meet and greet. This isn't a pocket circuit meet and greet. <laughs> Nor is this a funeral. And, um, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll double check. I'm gonna guess it's start your, my engines, but I kind of want to get this whole thing correct. Uh, you know, for the sake of... Okay, yeah, let's start your engines. Even though I don't think that's appropriate in any way, shape, or form, it'd be like... Good morning, Japan. No, oh, that's terrible. I was trying. Anyway, start your engines. When I open with, start your engines for some reason. Start your engines. Oh, like a racing team. Uh. Right. The Yankee movement is inspired by Western greasers. Oh. I guess that is. Yeah. I guess I should have made the connection though. So, dude, maybe we could become the Fonz. I don't think the Fonz was a Grease. Fonzy. What was Fonzy? Grease? Fuck. I know. Anyway, they love their wheels. That's so true. I always go with the Yankee lifestyle. So I should follow something like, You get my pistons pumping, don't you think? I don't know if that's... I mean, that's on topic. At least we now know it's on topic. I don't know if we want to go down that route, though. Yeah, that's good. Apparently. It wouldn't hurt to throw in something like ram it into overdrive either. Okay, Kiryu. Okay, let's calm down. Let's calm down a bit there. <laughs> right, right. I didn't know about that one. I'm so glad we got your advice, Kiryu said. Oh, oh, Kiryu said. Question. Hmm? hmm? Now, what is it? Well, the agency told me to get the fan, tell the fans how I spend my days off when I'm not rehearsing or performing. Mm. Your days off, huh? That makes sense that fans would want to know how their heroes live, how their heroes live from day to day. Uh, Tarshi, how would you spend a day off? Uh, well, I make a habit of getting up bright and early so I can make some pancakes. Pancakes after breakfast. Take my down puppy Shibi Chan, of good name, to the park for a mid morning roll, mid morning stroll, and then we have lunch at a chick, a, a chick. Chick Cafe to rest our feet. On our way home, we do a little... I guess it's chic, not chic. We have a little window shopping. After that, I binge on the dramas. I got my VCR till it's bedtime. Uh. You just described a typical girl's day. Hey, it's not wrong with that, Kiru. I think. Yeah. Sorry. I really made you sound like a fashionable young woman. I'm so surprised I got it. Hence. <laughs> Hey, uh, that's sad. No care what saying you should shout like that. You made sleazy tars cry. It's a bunch much, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, dear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah, that's well, not. Oh, runny nose. Hi. Just say sorry. So I just talk closer to the mic too. Uh, uh yeah, my bad, Tarski. Oops. 
It's, it's all right. I was just startled. I wasn't expecting it is all. Man, these people are not prepared for adulthood, were they? Uh, so, how do you spend the day off? Um, yeah, right. Oh boy. One thing's clear, you can't tell the fans how you really spend your free time. You gotta act all cool and tough until it becomes cool to be different or something. In like, I don't know, 20... teens? I almost said 20,000s. I don't know, maybe 2,000. Anyway. No, I guess not. But then again, what should I say? What should I be doing instead? Fighting, hanging, hanging with mates, not rescuing puppies. It could be either one of these. Just hanging, hanging out with me. Fucking fighting or hanging, cracking open a cold one with the boys and probably ain't. report. Ah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's either one of these, apparently. We're gonna go fighting, because I don't know how much I believe I just... Uh, fighting all day. On uh, days off, you spend your time fighting from dawn to dusk. F fighting? I don't really get it, but who do hooligans fight? Do Yankee have sworn enemies or something? Eh, it's not about having enemies. Yankee are always ready to, and willing to fight. The two if two punks lock eyes, Fight is on. That's how it is on the mean streets of Camarocho. Camaro Camarocho. And just so you know, fist fighting is considered the most hardcore and cool. But that's just because I do it a lot, so it's biased. Jeepers, what a brutal community. I can't take my dog out for walking that wall zone. Yeah. Hold on. Dogs that punks keep tend to be fiercely loyal and thirsty for blood. They're often trusty partners in a street fight. Is, is that right? I can't delicate my delicate picture my delicate cheapy chan engaging in a kerfuffle like that. <laughs> Boy, am I glad we could hit you up for advice, Kiru san. You're the perfect hooligan role model. Kiru san. Mm hmm? Uh, you're bad boy Aku, right? What's the matter? What I'll say. Hmm. Okay, you don't get a topic like tar Ashi Ashi? Nope. Ace told him to wig it. He's free to talk about whatever. Even though he's pro practically mute. Bad boy Aku's even got he even has a backstory. Locked up at juvenile ref reformities from birth. Bad boy Aku crushed packs of punks before he even printed fringe preschool. Hmm. You know, he's trying to fit a square pig in a peg in a round hole. Accuse, accuse a man a few words of the crazy backstory. What should you talk about to make him sound hardcore? The time you crushed a gig. A funny recent event. I mean, so there is the strong silent type. I don't know if that one will go well. I don't know if he could wing that one. Probably not. Sti silent's probably more your speed. Because that's what the guide says anyway. And I probably would have chosen it anyway, so. So it's just a. Don't you think it'd be better just stay quiet? Eh, stay silent during the panel. Would discussion would any talk be a disaster? Hmm. Yeah. Well, Aku was told he's free to talk about whatever he wants. That means he's also free to not talk at all. That's true, but it would be worse if you were to say the wrong things and wreck his image. From Aku's backstory, I think he would seem more hardcore if he kept his mouth shut. Okay, strong and silent type. Hmm. Put it that way, it makes total sense. Okay, we'll do that. Bad boy Aku stays speechless during his pot. Sure. Aku, are you good with that? Okay. Alright, now we'll go over how you run this whole panel discussion. Yeah, boy. Nothing is. Yo, vote yourself or his mom's ready for you. Oh, yo, oh, is it time? Uh, I mean, I mean, fine. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, I mean, you can come when you're ready. I'll be watching from the audience. You do good out there, guys. Oh, yes, please watch us. We're gonna hit the hardcore Yankee thing out of the park. <laughs> We're gonna kick ass and stuff. We're gonna kick ass and do stuff, and I'm all out of stuff. 
Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Here they are. Put your hands together for... You have your silvers. Too bad. Your eyes are very wide and open. Uh, yeah. Fisting the air. Whoa, crazy cute. What's <laughs> up? Come here. Whoa, check out crazy cute. Stuff right here. Speak a ton. Spoke red style. Man, it's got the Yankee look nailed. I didn't think there'd be dialogue. Oh, <clears throat> oh they are popular. <laughs> Whole, whole, like, what, ten people here? <laughs> Popular, to say. When they're not talking, they do look like real greasers. So, but what's high roll, high rock and roll stats after school? Tarashi, hit it, boy. Aku, hit it, boys. That's what music sounds like. <laughs> That concludes today's performance by the Yokomochi Silvers. I was listening to their songs. I can see why Yankee kids across Japan look up the crazy Kyoto's band. I guess it's some sort of generic rock. What's wrong with that, huh? Now we'd like to move on to a special meet and greet panel discussion with the band members. Whoa, no way, no way, crazy guys. You just gonna talk to us? That's totally mental. I can't fuck away to hear bad black whose voice. Here's, here's where it gets real. I better pull this off. Uh? Yo, Grease Hounds! Where the Yamayochi Silvers start your engines? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> cool, you Jets, bro, but I gotta hand it to Crazy Kyo and said he knows how to rev us up and kick us in top gear. He totally fucking ace. Thanks for coming and rocking out to our tunes. I love y'all, you romantic rebels. You punks got my piston pumping right here under the hood. I love you like my turbo drive. Fuck! Ah, oh, good. Fans are eating it up. Going with racing terms paid off. Awesome, thank you, crazy cure. Sam, oh, excuse me, my throat died there for a second. Next, we would like to hear from Sleazy Tarshi-san and Bad Boy Aku-san as well. First up, Sleazy Tarshi-san. Here's a question we got from a fan. How do you usually spend your days off? Uh, me? If I go a day off, I spend fighting mostly. To your toes, beast, man, fighters like exercise in Too wicked for woods. Oh shit, I would pay to get my ass killed by Tarshi again. If it just woods. Just so you know, I don't allow nothing but going bare knuckle and brawl. And fist, and a fight. Except when it's a sword, then maybe it's a fight. <laughs> Good, the fans are eating it up. I knew spending all day fighting would rev up those punks. Oh, thank you, Sleazy Tire Shed. Close it out, it's time for Bad Black. So to say a few words. <laughs> that's, 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 a, that's a few words. Hmm. Hmm. The, that was it? No way. He just stood there for his whole panel discussion? This. This. Yeah. Oh crap, my boy actually is the coolest. What a rebel. He don't even play by the rules. Not even his own rules. That's what makes a bad boy Akusan. He rules. Alright, oh, good. It was the right decision to not let the quiet Aku speak. After all, it doesn't take big talk to make a big man. And that attitude speaks louder than words. That was a one man panel. I did all of that. Yay. And now they're. That guy's fucking the microphone a lot. And that guy's just. What is that other guy doing? He's just, he's just, I don't know what he's doing to the sign, but it's not attempting to take it down, that's for sure. I'm uh, curious, Sam, were you, were you watching? Yeah, I saw everything. Good work. Here is Sam, we try to apply what we learned from you about the ways of the Yankee to a panel. <laughs> the fair response was fabulous. I was still in shock. Uh. Yeah, it seemed that way. You guys learned well. Proud of you all. 
Looks like the old Mochi Silvers will keep shooting up towards stardom at the speed of light. We owe you one big time, Kiru-san. A wild shirt? Oh, okay. That's a wild shirt, all right. I looked like a leper pound. That was the most fun I ever had speaking to public. Give us then. Thanks. From now on, we're going to keep working hard to expand on what you taught us about the ways of the Yankee. We'll work on our speech and skills as well. Speech and speaking skills. Keep an eye on us, Kiru san. You know about yourself, are kicking it into up another gear. Uh. Yeah, give it your best shot. Fire away! Yeah. We will! Bye! Time to fuck off! People sure have all kinds of challenges to face. At least those guys are diligent. They should survive the rough road of the entertainment world. Somehow. Don't give up, you 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 silvers. And they're gone forever. Poof. And that guy appeared all out of nowhere. Let's look at the list. We don't even have half of them, then. They don't even have half of them. Wanted. Again. Would this be done? I'd have to look that up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot here we're missing. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Guess we'll come back. To, to, I guess we'll come back later. Once Kirisan decides to stop smoking, that is. So I was uh, heading that back to the office to check on profits. And now, uh, look, 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 look who's here. Golly, it's Kirisan. Uh, I mean, uh, yo, how's it hanging? Daisy Kyoto from the Yomo Yomichi Silvers? Hard to tell if you're acting like a gentleman or a Yankee, as usual. So what brings you here today? Yeah, I'm sorry. Actually, I wanted to work on my hooliganism with you, Kirisan. Please let me work at your offices and help your business. I really doubt you'll be able to be a better hooligan by working at my company. Please, I'll do anything. I don't even want money for it. No, if you're gonna help, I'll pay you a salary because that's how... That's what the labor laws told me to do. Even if we know each other, business is business. You bitch, Shakira said. Yo, I think I just learned some uh, shit about being a hot, cool hooligan right now. And he's an advisor now. He's really good at the entertainment industry, as you'd expect. He was saying, thanks for helping me get my pistons pumping. Here, let's kick it into top gear. Uh, what is this fucking vapor? Why are we standing next to a grape? Anyway. Ah, Kiruisen. How have you been? Oh, hey, Kiruichi. How's your police work going? Oh, thanks to you, Kiruisen. I can handle police work other than routine stop and searches now. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. Since I only did stop and searches for the longest time, I'm hopelessly out of shape. In fact, I've been messing up a lot. Police officer ought to be much stronger. True. I'm sure there's times when you you would have to physically intervene to break up fights or capture suspects by force. Uh, yes, I need to get back in shape somehow, but I haven't found the right opportunity to do it yet. Getting in shape, huh? I know. Our company is hiring security staff. Badly. We need it badly. <laughs> Are you interested in helping us? Mm, that would give me a chance to get in shape. It would be moonlighting, though. I can't do that. You're right, and I won't pay you. How about if I buy you meals instead? Hmm, I wonder if that's okay. Pretty sure it's well outside the rules, too. Oh, what the hell. I owe you big time, Kira-san. Please, let me help you. Hey, now you have security. Roy oh, starts out abysmal, though. But then he does really good. Yeah, that's great. Thanks for the help. It's better than the fucking other guy. I'll get stronger and become a great police officer, just like my old partner. Hopefully. 
Here's open. Speaking of the office, here we are. Um, I bought a new office layout. I'm curious, Sam, is anything I could do for you? Let's upgrade the interior. We have Terrence Green now. Okay, I'm just done. Look at that. Now we green. Chairs are still red, though, for some reason. It feels fresh. Let me know if you want to change it again. Um, I, th I assume I talked to you about the new guy. What about the suit? What's the suit I got, huh? Mm, no, it's not an actual suit, is it? Is it a clothing item? It is a clothing item. Do these clothes make it possible to switch battle styles quickly? Okay. And shoes, of course. The shirt brings out your wild side. When attacked, you won't go down easily. That's probably something. Uh, it's better than that. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. Much better, actually. We'll equip that. I'll figure out that whole mess later. Let's see if I talk to Marina. Oh, Mr. President, about that job opening, we have another applicant. What kind of person is it this time? This time the applicant is a girl. Oh boy, I have voiced two women now. Probably gonna sound the same. I read her application, and she has neat handwriting, and her photo is really cute. Mm. Or pretty cute. I see, she's cute. She's kawaii. Mr. President, you better not hire her based on her looks. Uh. Of course not. I already have one of those here. Wink, wink nudge, nudge. <laughs> what do you want to do? Do you want to do the interview now? Yeah, let's do it now. That's why I'm here. Okay, sure. I'll interview the candidate. Uh, great, let's do this. You need to look respectable for the interview, of course. Mm. You know, it's kind of a pain to put on glasses every time I do an interview. Can I just interview like this? We're already in an actual suit. A little bit better than before. Granted. Mm. Oh, heavens no. It's important for you to look intelligent. Ugh, if you say so. Yeah, there we are. Suit and glasses. <laughs> uh, you look really good in those, you know? Oi. Oh, wait a minute. Are you just making me wear these because you like them? Yeah, well, uh, actually... Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Oh, here's our next candidate. It's time for the interview. Mm. Guess you're off the hook for now. Uh, Alright, come in. Hey, excuse me. I gotta say, I, we gotta talk like two women because I can't make differences. I'm Sakura Jagas Jagasaki. Pleased to meet you. Uh. Yeah, likewise. You can sit. Sit down. Oh, right. Let's have a seat. Thank you. She seems so ladylike. And this is what ladies do. Hi. Yes, apparently your family runs a traditional Japanese inn. Maybe she helps out there? Mm. That makes sense. I can see her wearing a kimono. Well, we better ask her some questions. We need to figure out if she'll be a good fit here. Alright, so... Jusake-san. Why don't you take a minute to tell us about yourself? Hi! Uh, yes, certainly. <laughs> I'm impressed. This sounds like a real interview. And we both sound very similar. <laughs> yeah, I picked up a book on interview techniques. Yeah, you did. Oh, don't say that. Don't say kind of lies like that, Kiro. You're studying on your own? I'm so glad you're finally taking your presidential responsibilities seriously. <laughs> well, naturally. Hello. Um, may I begin? All oh, right. Sorry, we both sound the same. Damn it. <laughs> Please do. Um, my name is Sekiro Josaki. I majored in business administration. My biggest strength is that I have actual work experience. My family runs a traditional inn, so I've worked with guests daily while growing up. When we were short-staffed, I was even put in charge of the kitchen. I learned how to cook from pros. 
If I ever get the chance, I'd love to bring you a traditional meal. <laughs> I'm confident about my eagerness and fitness. It means I don't give up easily. I very much hope you will give me the opportunity to prove myself to you. Also, I often get asked to interviews, so I save you the bother of doing so. I'm wearing pla plain white underwear, thank you. Mm. Wow, that was solid. She even told us the color of her underwear to shut that down quick. She's amazing. Well, at least she gave us an answer this time. Oh, the other fucking asshole. Uh. Yeah, I don't have to ask her. Uh, let's talk about what she just told us. Was there anything you wanted to get more details on? What should we talk about in more detail? Oh, uh, I guess that's a fair question. Um, I mean, if you have a whole family in, why aren't you, you know, doing that? Why aren't you taking over the family in? Well, I do find the job rewarding in its own way, and I love interacting with the guests. However, it's also a very small enclosed world. The entire day revolves around the inn and nothing else. Even if I were to eventually inherit the end, I'd like to broaden my horizons out here in the real world before I settle into that role. Mm. Wow, she's got it all figured out. Yeah, she does. Okay, I don't want to take over the family business because it's lame. I guess we'll just go down the line. Why, what can you cook? You said you're a good cook. What are your signature dishes? Uh, let's see, I'm quite good at meatloaf. Oh, meatloaf's gross. Mmm! Love meatloaf. Omelets with rice filling. Oh. What else? Oh, I make a pretty great white sauce. Ooh. I often use it for preparing gratins and European pasta dishes. What the fuck is white sauce? <laughs> oh, that's impressive. You can make a white sauce from scratch, and you're so worldly. I don't know what the fuck white sauce is, but I don't know if I can show that on stream. Mm -hmm. That's impressive. Hi. It's easy to overcook with overcook white sauce, you know. <laughs> Until I got the hang of it, I found it a challenge too. Assuming I got the job, I'd be pretty happy to uh, to bring some in for you to try. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, yes, please. Boy. This is a job interview, not a restaurant. Uh, how, what do you, how do you feel confident in your fitness? That sounds like dangerous territory, Kiru, but... You said you have confidence in your fitness. Now why is that? Mm. I belong to a dance club at my university. Dancing is more physically taxing than it may appear. So I think it has helped me build my endurance. If you know what I mean. <clears throat> I see. Imagine you do traditional dancing for your guests. Or maybe you could do that once you take over the inn. If you do, that is. <laughs> eh, perhaps. But for now, I'd rather find fulfilling work at your firm than think about the family inn. Mm. So she dances. I bet she looked great doing a traditional dance in a kimono. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing that. I've asked about all the questions we have, I think. Josake-san, do you have any questions regarding our firm? Hi. Uh, yes, not to be too forward, but is there a large inequality gap between men and women here? Well, we have an odd number of people. Well, actually, well, at the proper office, we have an odd number of people. I don't know how many women work in the thing. Yeah. But, eh, no, I wouldn't say that. In my main office, I mean, it's slightly imbalanced, but... <laughs> well, thank you. It's a great relief to hear that. Times are changing, you know. I was hoping I could find a job that would let me work just as hard as any man. Oh no. Oh no, women are getting rights. Oh shit. <laughs> we have to hire Josaki Sam, Mr. President. She's a keeper for sure. Hmm, mm, I'm not so sure about that. What is there to think about? A girl this courteous and so eager to work in is a rare find in this day and age. Yeah, but what about that other asshole that just bailed on us? She seems that way, sure, but there's something not quite right I'm trying to figure out. Is there something wrong? Uh. Yeah, something's off. Something she said didn't doesn't jive. Uh, it means she's lying about something? 
we're have we have dead silence here. Uh oh. Uh. Yeah, I can't quite put my finger on it though. Hmm, what did she say that struck you as inconsistent? Oh god. Oh no, I have to play lawyer. Uh oh. Hmm. Welcome welcome to the first episode of the Ace Attorney thing. Um hmm. Well for the sake of me. Help. I'm gonna look it up. Because I don't wanna listen to it. Um Oh yes. Mm. Ah yes, I know now. Which pair of her statements doesn't jive? It's the summary and signature dishes because um, she said she she made meatloaf, and then the other thing. I don't know about the other thing, but I don't think you'd see a, a meatloaf in Japan. I am. I mean, I mean, you probably see meatloaf, but in like, not not in ye oldy traditional Japanese places. No. <laughs> I just I just got too distracted by the meatloaf. <laughs> you fucking Maya. Uh. Uh. Wait, no, I got the perfect. I got the perfect. Maybe. Wait, 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 hold on, 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 I got it, I got this. I should just edit, un edit this out, but, hmm. <laughs> ah, too lazy, whatever, I was gonna play the, the, the objection thing, but that's too much work, later, maybe. Anyway, maybe I could just edit it in post, who knows? Uh, anyway. <laughs> Mr. Submarines, her signature dishes. Those two statements don't add up. Really? Well, now that I think about it, maybe you're on to something. Saki, there's something inconsistent in your story. Inconsistent? What, what might that be? You said your family runs a traditional Japanese inn, and that you helped out there on a, f on a daily basis. Yes, that's correct. You said you were put in charge of the kitchen, which made you a better cook. Problem? If I'm working in a condition in a kitchen, it's only Astral I should become a better cook. How could that be inconsistent? Uh, Marie, let's say you were to stay at a traditional inn. What kind of dinner would you expect? <laughs> well, if it's a traditional inn, it would of course be Japanese cuisine like sashimi and nimono. Oh, in winter, a hot pot would be wonderful. Uh. Right. And what's Jostaki good at cooking? Meatloaf, omelet with rice, white sauce for gratin, and Oh, I don't know about you, but there's no traditional and I know who would serve those dishes. I lied, I'm doing it. I could just edit this out, but that's in. Because it's too much work. Uh, uh, wait. Uh. Ah, fuck, got him. Oh god, it's loud. <laughs> ah, fuck, I got him. Okay, now that's okay. <laughs> anyway, I botched it. Anyway. Have anything to say for yourself, Josaki san? I knew he was a lawyer all along. Oh. I lied about everything. Wow, so you're really gonna nitpick me on something that minor, huh? I bet you're a real hit with the ladies. josaki son. Huh? Yes, you're right. I made it all up. Grew up in a traditional inn? Are you kidding? I came up with that to spruce up my resume. So what? Fuck it. But... Incidentally, I also lied about being a good cook. I got too carried away with the details, I guess. Is everything a lie? Even the part about doing traditional dance at school? You're the ones who assumed it was traditional dance. I really do belong to a dance club at school. But my kind of dance is hip-hop. Oh, 
get your ass out of Sora Mori then, maybe. No, that's not a dance, that's a music. Hip. Hip and hop. I am so done here. Hurry up with my cab fare. I'll settle for 20,000 yen. Okay. Wait, we don't pay scammers. Huh? That's not what you promised? The posting said I get cam fare for taking an interview. Why else would I bother coming? You should be ashamed, you liars. Seems to me you're a liar too. It's okay for you to lie, but not us. Huh? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? You don't make a damn bit of sense. Huh? You just don't want to face the facts. Get over yourself, princess. Fucking got him. Eh. Bet you got everything you wanted your whole life, huh? Well, wise up. Out in the real world, nobody going to pay for your self-centered lying through your teeth. Huh? Real world or jungle, not a playground. Despite, despite that GNR song, and nobody gets anything they don't earn. So get out of my sight. Get out of my sight. Mm. Oh, fuck you. I hope I never get on your bad side, Mr. President. But, yeah, sorry for shouting. But again, I am ex well, ex ex Yakuza, so you probably should have known that by now. Yeah. It's okay. But wow, that was impressive how you caught that inconsistency in our story. I didn't realize until you pointed it out. Yeah, it was kind of impressive, wasn't it? Maybe I should become a detective or a lawyer. <laughs> I'm, beginning finding, I'm beginning to find new respect for you, President Kiru. Oh, but I guess we have to start over with recruiting. Uh. Yeah, thanks for taking care of that. Hi. Of course, sir. Your ace secretary has your back. I said the word. That's coincidental, probably. Alright, there you go. Well, that's 30 sub stories. We're halfway there. That's the wrong. that one. We are halfway there. There's still a lot of blank spots here. <laughs> there is still a lot of blank spots. We're all, um, now we have the same as Majima at least, so. I don't need this window anymore. Go away. Go away. Um. Right. Um. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ah, pay it's ready. Alrighty, there we go. We have 60% shares, which means I think something happens. It does. Yes. What? The arcade? Yes. Oh, what's the matter? Who is it? I, yeah. I don't know. I asked, but he didn't answer. He just said, tell Kiri to come to the arcade on Na Namamichi Street. Oh. I have a feeling we're going to be doing one of those, eh? Mm. And what for? Mm. That area is the Electronic King's territory, so it could be one of his men. And he said something like, he understands the consequences if he doesn't come, right? Well, what do we do? I'm so worried. Now, calm down, I won't let anything happen to you. I'll protect you, no matter what. Thanks for throwing your life on the line, Kiru, question mark. I mean, though you probably already know it's going to happen, but... <laughs> wow. Heart. The Electronic King wants to see me. I should go to the arcade on Namichi Street and beat him at his own game. Literally, because it's probably his own game. So we're gonna, we're gonna save real quick. We're gonna do a little quick run down there and uh, uh, hand his ass to him in the arcade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Maybe. Was there someone else? Who the fuck are you? Hi, it's been a while. Hmm? Oh, you're that guy I watched the video with at that video shop, right? Yes, we spent a really passionate moment together. Oh, well, well, that sounded completely wrong because it was. Sorry about that girl, though. That's all right. No one can predict how a person's feelings may turn out. All right. 
Heartbreak is painful, but I'll find somebody else to take my mind off it. <sighs> oh, wow, that was very... That was mostly breath into the mic, I apologize. Yeah, maybe you could focus on work or something. Work, huh? Actually, I just got fired from a job the other day. So I don't have any more work to focus on. Oh, I didn't know. Sorry. I'm just watching videos all day long now. Jeez, my life is a shambles. If you want, you could try helping out my company. It's not much, but I'll pay you a fair wage. What? For real? Uh, assassin. Yes, this is perfect. Ah, oh, security. <laughs> Ooh, I want the bus security. Video boy. Yeah. Thanks for helping me out. Yeah, sure, I only hope I can focus on work and forget the pain of heartbreak. Now pull yourself together. I got your back on this. Oh, man. Come on, chin up. You'll find some one question mark. Or maybe you'll just get an anime waifu in the future. Who knows? It'll be fine. Maybe. How far is the street? I can run there. It's probably that one. Let's run there and talk at the same time so I don't have to cut this part. Because, uh, this is... You know, this is probably not going to be the cleanest of cuts. But hey. At least it's a cut. Somewhere in there. Oh, oh rich guy. I want to fight the rich guy first. Uh, never mind. We don't get to fight the rich guy. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Thanks for dropping back, you Zen. Who the hell are you? You work for the Electronics King? <laughs> hey, you smarter than I thought. Guess that's why you're an epic Kevin businessman. I don't have time to waste on cannon fodder like you. The Electronic King is inside, right? Let me through. Aww. Whoa, whoa, that's so fast, newbie. Let me guess. If I want to go in, I need to get through you guys first. <laughs> uh, you sure are smart. I bet you think you hot shit since you took down Leisure King, eh? Well, we're gonna hack and slash your ass. Uh, funny, because it's a genre of video. A video, not game, just video. Oh, fuck you. I missed. Oh, there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, there. Damn it, I was trying to do the heat action there. Because I don't know if that's a different heat action or not, but I fucked up and I murdered man. Dude, you're way overpowered. Thanks, man. At least they know. Alright, coming through. Don't mind the dead guys outside. I'm trying to buy this place, I think, too. Actually, yeah, because that's probably why it's happening here. Oh boy, I have to outrun him, huh? There he is. Hmm. Are you electronics, King? Um, hey, are you listening to me? <sighs> Didn't anyone teach you manners? Like, don't bother someone when they're playing a game? Uh? Well, I have to set my own demographic stereotype. Except, like, in the 80s, not the 20 teens. Don't give me that. You're the one who called me here in the first place. What do you want? I don't need to get snippy. I only asked you here because I wanted to thank you. Thank me? Yes. I'd like to thank you for trying to capture my domain. The real world is full of poor, foolish souls, so capturing this area of Camarocha was easy mode. But because of that, I've been pretty bored lately. But now that you're here, my life is fun again. So thanks. <laughs> Never expected to be thanked. Taking over your area, you know. Aren't you angry? Something. But most game modern gamers would be, but can't say that I am actually. This is a game for me. I do it for fun. 
Besides, I end up on top in the end. And he's gonna, he'd, be, he'd probably grow up to be cheating in any number of multiplayer games. I don't know. I wouldn't be so sure about that. <laughs> now, why would I be sure? You've heard, right? I am a genius with an IQ of 190. And I'm Kamarochu's best gamer. There's no way you'd beat me in a video game. Oh, how many famous last words that probably is. You might think this is some... You think this is a game? But it's not. Thanks to you turning Kamarocha into some kind of playground for you to make money, there are a lot of real people who've been hurt. Haven't you thought about that? <laughs> now why would I do that? Have you ever thought about the feelings of the pixels you murder in a video game? No. I mean, yes. I mean, I don't know. Of course you haven't. Hmm. Rotten to the core, too. He, he, no, he'd go on to say video games cause violence. Fucking asshole. Meow, meow. At any rate, I'm looking forward to playing with you. Can you at least put up a good fight so I can have something to enjoy? Well, don't worry. I'll make sure to keep you on your toes. Oh, hang on a second. You came all the way over here, so you don't want to play a quick round with me? Ready. What? I heard that you have a karaoke battle with the Leisure King, so why not battle with me? A video game battle, of course. Oh, did I remember to save before this? Uh oh. A uh, video game battle? No, I think I did, yes. No, yes. I hope I did. I'm, yeah. Yes, I don't only play Outrun. I'm not too good at racing games, so that should put us on a level playing field. If you can get a higher score than me, you win. If not, you lose. What do you think? Does that sound balanced? I mean, yeah, but... Wait. Uh, are we gonna put a, a put part of our holdings on the line like I did? Like, uh, like I did with the Leisure King? <laughs> uh, of course. A game's no fun unless something's at stake. You'll accept my challenge, right? Well, it's not like you're gonna take no for an answer. Well, sure, let's do it. <laughs> oh boy, this one's not gonna go as well. I, I suck at karaoke, but I'm gonna probably suck more here. Ah, that's the spirit. All right, I'll start. Yeah, there's two consoles for a reason. <sighs> uh, only five million points, huh? I've made too many mistakes. I guess I really do suck at racing games. Okay, you're up next. I'll even let you win if you can match my score. Uh, uh fine. Oh, jeez. Five million or higher, you win. Oh, yeah. The scores you get when competing against, uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Um... Get ready! Right here. This fire probably leave them because it's, you know, outrun. Why not? I don't think just sign up the whole time and make it.
get me the fuck out of here. No, this one doesn't count. Damn it, I lost. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad. But you know, I still have to give you credit for being brave enough to challenge me. Now, as promised, I'll take a share of your properties. Fuck. Hmm. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Games are a lot more exciting when you put a high-level challenger to play against. Oh. Okay, we're done here. Fuck you. I don't have a lot of free time to hang out with you, and I need to restart the See you later. Fuck you. Bye. Oh, wait. Just one more thing. Hmm. What is it? You're probably gonna die, you know. <laughs> oh, okay. Who's gonna kill me? Who knows? Let's just say that not everyone welcomes your efforts like I do. I'm glad you're trying hard, but you really shouldn't take the five billionaires too lightly. That's just fine by me. I already have had past tense now, the Yakuza on me, so, you know. I've had worse. Well, see, this is why I didn't... That's why we don't do streams of this one, because I have to retry this again. The Electronics Kings, this is all just a big game to him. But he's still a tough customer, so I should watch out. Hell, maybe I'll even edit that part out, but... We'll come back when I've won. Alright, round two... Here we go. That was loud, and I forgot it was loud. Get ready. the charm. Anyway. Uh, I don't know if I'll be doing it this time either. One wipe out your fuck on this game. More or less. <laughs> okay. Okay. I have a feeling this isn't happening ever. I I'm 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 gonna concede defeat here. I will lose that 10%, unless I probably shouldn't, or some specific reason. Oops, I don't know. Anyway. Oh, God. <laughs> um, well, that's gonna be it for this video. Not stream. I don't know why I switched back to this one, it doesn't matter. It's different. That's what this was. It's different. Um, 
if you want more, leave in the comments or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Bye. <laughs>